What's going on YouTube? Geosno right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you interested in iOS 17 or iPadOS 17, but also in jailbreaking. It looks like the Pelerin team managed to fully jailbreak iOS 17 or rather iPadOS 17 since iOS 17 doesn't support the compatible devices of Pelerin, but still they got it working. We're gonna get into that in a second. This video is brought to you by Tenorshare for Me Key, which allows you to remove iCloud activation on devices for which you can't remember your Apple ID and password and stuff like that. You can use this on iPhone on 10, 8 and older. It doesn't support the newer devices, but it supports iOS 15 and 16. There is a free trial available for this, which supports Windows and Mac OS. You can definitely check it out in the link below. You can grab it on Tenorshare.com and to use it, you can simply plug in the lock device. You press start removing here and check out the disclaimer. An important thing is that this only supports A7 through A11 devices. And also you cannot place any calls, SMS messages, or use the SIM card after the bypass. So you should keep that in mind. So I'm gonna press next in here the device will be put in recovery mode and then we're going to have to put the device in DFU mode by following the guide over here. Once the device is in DFU mode it says in here removing activation lock please wait and this will take a few minutes and once that is complete it says in here removed activation successfully and now you can see the device is available in here we press get started and that's it you can use the device normally with no problems. So definitely check the program out in the link below. So a couple of hours ago Pelrain team posted this hashtag Pelrain iOS 17 jail broken in in under 24 hours. So you can see in here that they have basically an iPad by the looks of it, which is still iOS 17, just because Apple decides to call it iPad OS 17 doesn't mean it's a fully different operating system, it's still the same thing, with some minor changes, but at its core it's still iOS with the same security features, there's no security features different on iPad compared to, let's say, the iPhone. So you can see they have in here what appears to be Cilio running, and yeah, they show the diagnostics page in which you can see that it's running iOS 17.0 on ARM64, so this is definitely great, they managed to actually jailbreak iOS 17 in under 24 hours. iOS 17 was just announced as a developer beta and by the way developer betas of iOS 17 and stuff like that are now completely free. You can go ahead and download and install iOS 17 or iPadOS 17 developer beta for free. Apple is no longer charging the 99 per year for a developer account if you want only the betas. You still need to pay for an account if you want to develop apps or if you want to sign stuff but if you only want to get the betas Apple now provides them for free. You just have to log in with with any Apple ID and you can get the images over here completely free of charge. I have a full guide on my website on how to do that if you want to install iOS 17 but yeah they changed what benefits you get with the free account and OS beta releases are now part of that and that's basically it but for those of you interested the iOS 17 compatible devices start now from iPhone XS, XS Max and XR so there is no iPhone compatible with Pelerin jailbreak that still supports iOS 17 which kind of sucks because it means that Pelerin devices are now stuck forever to iOS 16.5. But iPadOS is a different thing. You still have iPadOS 17 on iPads that are supported by Pelerin, so you can still have Pelerin on iOS 17. It's just that you're going to have it on an iPad. And that's exactly what they did in here. They achieved the jailbreak with Cilio and full Pelerin support, but they did it on iPad, which does still support iOS 17. However, they announced in here that iPadOS 17 will not be supporting rootful, so it's only going to be rootless. Of course, this is only for the Checkmate compatible iPads, Obviously, Pelerin will never support A12 or newer, so that's basically it, but it's still nice to see. Now, this release is not available at the moment, they're still probably working on it, and frankly, I wouldn't really recommend you to install iOS 17 beta at the moment. It's still very buggy, it's developer beta 1, I'm, I mean, what do you expect? But if you want it, it's now available for free on Apple's website, so if you want to mess around with iOS 17, they are also preparing a jailbreak if you have a Pelerin compatible iPad. So, yep, that's basically it, thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time, peace out.